The Punisher, Nightmare. The filmmakers did such a good job on this. I mean, they really captured the look and the feel of what a Punisher film is. Um, the cinematography was amazing. The lighting that they did, they gave it that really cool, gritty kind of um, urban environment that every Punisher film has. Um, the actor playing Frank Castle, I loved what he did with his voice because he really captured that Frank Castle, the graveliness to his voice and that, that depth to it where you hear that voice and it will scare the ever-loving bejesus out of you and that was perfect. He really did embody the character, even though, I mean, his physical appearance, he didn't look as weathered as what I would have expected Frank Castle to look like or as, as big or as gruff, but he sold it and it was amazing. And I loved that. Um, the music was a great addition. The stunt choreography was so, so great. And what they did with the camera angles to sell each one of those stunts was absolutely fantastic. Um, the storyline was so well thought out. It flowed so great. It, again, it felt like a Punisher film. I would not have known that this was low budget unless they had told me at the beginning it was that good. So congratulations to you guys. This was fantastic. The Punisher Nightmare um, fan film. Really well done, you guys. I know you had the precursor of saying this was done on a low budget and independent. And I appreciate you saying that and setting us up, you know, for kind of managing our expectations, but then we go in and it's so well done. You guys did so great with the resources you had. And um, I just thought, you know, the lighting, the close-up shots that you had, the effects, the um, slow motion moments, the choreography of the fights, the script, everything. The production value was great. Um, don't sell yourself short on that. Um, I know good filmmakers tend to be perfectionists, but you guys did an amazing job. Um, great camera work throughout. Uh, the sound design, sound effects were great. Uh, beautiful lighting change with the scenes when we see the flashback of him with his wife at the sink in the kitchen, or, you know, I love the close up on his eye when he's laying down in bed. Um, just really nice close ups throughout, actually. And I thought the script was great. I think it's somewhat realistic. I mean, as far as this goes, it is realistic because I, I feel like not, not everything was perfect. Not everything worked perfectly for this guy, um, in the script. And I thought the lines were really great and the acting was wonderful by everybody. I thought, especially the lead, I thought he did really great, um, job of being realistic in, in his acting. It wasn't over the top. It was very natural. It, acting, which I love. Um, really nice backstory, even with the Punisher. You know, I thought that c the scene placements for giving us, us the backstory were great. And, um, you know, the two characters that end up dead talking about him really gave us a lot of information. The exposition wasn't really exposition for me because it was done so well. Just, um, I loved it. Uh, just everything about this. Uh, I love um, just the editing, the casting, the whole telling of this story was great. It was intriguing. Oh, and the car chase, wonderful. Um, music and the intensity during that as well. Just everything was really wonderful throughout. So great job to you guys. And I wish you the best of luck on the film festival circuit. This film seems like a very good fan fiction for Marvel lovers. They don't really explain who the Punisher is, so so for somebody who doesn't read the comic books and isn't really into Marvel, you kind of get lost. You know, he's a vigilante, um, and that there's something going on. It did feel very Batman-esque in this. Um, I know that's DC, I know that much. But it's with a vigilante trying to get justice, this Punisher, 
The story is good, though. It's following a very sympathetic character. This man who seems lost in the world a little bit. His parents have been killed. I assume that's whose grave those were. And the Punisher's or people are after him next. It's This is very good. You could see the passion that the filmmakers have for this material. You could tell it was a labor of love, that they really love this, and it really is fan fiction, because those who know this world would be able to understand everything right from the very beginning. I loved the complex characters that went around this universe. Um, they were very strong people who had flaws. They were human beings that you could sympathize with. And I think it's sometimes a lot of times what superhero movies are missing. And these filmmakers made sure to include that. So it's still an interesting dynamic. This feature film, The Punisher, is a thriller drama with a lot of action and violence um, and faces inner demons and conflict. Um, I like that the film progressed, like the uh, violence in the film progressed and it escalated as well. Um, kind of like how his battle with himself inside um, escalates as it goes through the film. I think the action scenes were really well done and looked really awesome. Um, I especially loved the car chase scene and overall I think the acting was really authentic and engaging. I also really loved that they included a little message from the directors in the beginning. I think it really draws people to want to watch when they know how much work was put in and how much the creators loved making it.